Some people go to a, a doctor who have TB uh, symptoms and they think it's more uh, of a nervous tick rather than a physical uh, neuro neuro neurological problem. If you are isolated and you do have TD or think you have TD, you have to make sure that you get to your doctor and speak with them about your suspicions and your sus and see what's going on. I went to my doctor with information in hand from talkabouttd.com. If you've seen a doctor, not all doctors uh, know, uh, know how to diagnose tardis dyskinesia. They may attribute your movements to something else. If you're not getting the help or the understanding from the provider, um, if they say things that, you know, is more of a psychiatric problem or a problem that I, I would get a second opinion if they can't identify your symptoms of TD. I find myself to be very fortunate to have good doctors surrounding me. That's one of the most important things. The people that surround me help me with my TD, but my doctor's the most important one and he does listen to me and that's the, really the key. They're supposed to listen to what you have to say because it's your body that's under attack. And I think that's very, very important that you find one that will listen. Now, I, I would suggest very much that for the initial diagnosis, they go to a neurologist who's a movement disorder specialist because they're trained to uh, diagnose patients with TD. As your primary doctor for how you're feeling about this kinesia, or go to a psychiatrist who understands tardive dyskinesia. On talkabouttea.com, you could uh, print out a discussion guide that would be helpful uh, to show your doctor and help you with questions to ask your provider uh, about anything about TD uh, that you're going through.